Welcome back to another exciting video of Top Movies Recap. Today I am going to explain a 2015 American science fiction action thriller film called Self Slash Less. Damien Hale is a wealthy real estate businessman who is diagnosed with terminal cancer. Unwilling to die, Damien explores an expensive and highly secretive procedure known as shedding. During shedding, Damien's consciousness is transferred into the body of a healthy young man, rumored to be grown for him. However, Damien soon begins to have weird hallucinations that cause him to believe that neither the body nor the company that gave it to him are truly what they seem. Self Slash Less is a very well-scripted and framed movie with great acting and a surprising amount of action given all the artsy-fartsy scene work. The story is engaging and well-paced. Let's dive into the story, but before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to get some interesting stuff and upcoming videos. In the thriller Self Slash Less, Ben Kingsley plays a wealthy but ailing man who pays big bucks to have his consciousness transplanted into a much younger body, and one that happens to resemble that of Ryan Reynolds to boot. It's not hard to understand his motivation. There are worse bodies to occupy than that of Ryan Reynolds, after all. The film tells the story of business tycoon and billionaire Damien Hale is master of his own universe, until he is diagnosed with terminal cancer. Now on his deathbed, he finds a business card directing him to a man named Professor Albright, who informs him about a radical medical procedure called shedding, in which one's consciousness is transferred to an artificially grown healthy body. While Damien searches the article about Dr. Francis Jensen, a shedding neurologist, he suddenly collapses and the blood sputum is spurting onto the laptop. In his nursing home, Damien receives a call from Albright, saying that once he transferred into another body, it will not return to his original body and his death will be made to the public. Also, Albright plans Damien to fly to New Orleans to meet his friend Martin. Damien then buries the box containing something in the cemetery. Damien and Martin having a coffee in the restaurant, but Damien collapses again to the floor. He is now brought into Albright's and he decides to transfer to the healthy body. We call him as young Damien. Now his body is transferred to the new body, young Damien begins to learn how to walk, swimming, etc. Albright prescribes medication to ease vivid hallucinations which he claims are side effects of the procedure. Young Damien starts a new life in New Orleans under a pseudonym of Edward Kittner. After young Damien introduces his new home, he goes to play basketball and befriends his neighbor, Anton. After young Damien read his own obituaries in the internet, he tries to call his daughter, Claire, but he refuses to talk with her and quickly hangs up the phone. Because he forgot to take his medicine, young Damien subsequently hallucinate the war of the woman and a child, and the water tower styled as a pumpkin. When Everett asks Albright about the hallucinations, he dismisses his concerns, but accidentally reveals that he knows details of the hallucinations that Edward did not reveal. Albright arranges for him to move to Hawaii for a change of scenery, but Edward convinced the hallucinations are some kind of memory. Researches a landmark he saw in his vision and heads to St. Louis instead. In St. Louis, young Damien infiltrates a house and sees the picture frames of himself and his wife, Madeline. Young Damien encounters Madeline, who identifies him as her apparently deceased husband, Mark. After that, Albright's men, led by Anton, who reveals that he is one of Albright's employees, breaks into the house and attack young Damien slash Mark and Madeline. Edward learns that the body he inhabits belonged to another man who sold himself to Albright in order to gain the money he needed to cure their sick daughter. Young Damien then excuses him to go to the bathroom for taking medicine. After he took medicine, young Damien attacks the henchman and kills him. Young Damien sees the fire thrower burns Madeline's car. Anton and his henchman overhear the crashing and go to the bathroom. Young Damien shoots another man and Anton told him to the front. Anton goes inside the bathroom then tries to subdue each other, loses the medicine in the process. Young Damien tackles Anton out of the house and he goes back inside the house. The fire thrower burns the house. Young Damien takes Madeline out but before they can escape, the two goes down near the house. Unseen by Anton and his other men, young Damien shoots the fire thrower, accidentally burns Anton alive but managed to kill the fire by soaking himself into the tub and kills the henchman. The two escape and collect her daughter, Anna, from school. The two stay at a motel for a while before heading to New Orleans. There, young Damien researches the internet of Dr. Jensen, the man who invented shedding. Mark notices a tick he shares with Albright in a video of him and sees Albright in the same video as his assistant and concludes that Jensen has shedded himself into Albright's body. Young Damien again hallucinates, because he loses his medicine and collapses. The two drives back to the New Orleans and young Damien told them to wait in the car. Young Damien finds Dr. Jensen's wife, Phillies, in a nursing home suffering from Alzheimer's. Young Damien asks her if he can access his research, but she does not know. When Dr. Phillies reveals that Albright came every week in her house to bring butterscotch candy for her, she calls Albright to come in her house. Young Damien tranquilized Dr. Phillies and he confronts Albright slash doctor. 
Jensen. Young Damien asks Albright for medicine, but he warns that if he continues to take the medicine, his Mark personality will eventually be completely erased, while if he quits, the original Mark will reassert control over his body and kill Damien's personality instead. But Mark flees when more assassins show up, including another man who he recognizes as Anton due to necklace. They share Anton reveals that he has shedded multiple times. At a rest stop, Madeline confronts Mark over his behavior and lack of knowledge of their personal details, and he reveals all that has transpired to her. He takes them to his old friend Martin and convinces him to provide for Madeline and Anna to flee to the Caribbean. However, he and Madeline discover Anna playing with Martin's young son Tony, who died two years ago. Martin admits that he used shedding to save his son, and that Albright's men are waiting for them. Mark then reveals the dark secret behind shedding and flees to distract Albright's men while Martin, Madeline, and Anna escape. Mark manages to crash Anton's car with him in it and defeat his pursuers, but Madeline and Anna are recaptured. Mark stops taking his medicine in order to experience more memories, hoping they will lead him to Albright. This succeeds and Mark pursues Albright to a lab built in an abandoned warehouse. There, Albright captures him and attempts to shed Anton into Mark's body, but Mark, remembering that metal interferes with the shedding process, takes a bullet casing in his mouth, therefore sabotages the procedure which kills Anton in the process. He rescues Madeline and Anna and takes down Albright once and for all. Mark arranges for Madeline and Anna to flee the country as planned, meets his own estranged daughter Claire, and delivers her a letter reconciling with her. He then heads to the Caribbean and stops taking his medicine, dying peacefully. The real Mark reawakens in his own body and discovers a video message from Damien's personality thanking him for the time he gave him. Mark then reunites with his family at last. So far, so good. There is a neat twist halfway through the film when Damien discovers some startling answers to farm in Missouri. This exciting sequence is the high point of the film. After that, the remaining twists become increasingly far-fetched, and the intriguing story degenerates into a flat-out action movie with car chases and violent shootouts that are competently filmed by Singh but seem to come from a far more conventional film. While watching Self Slash Less, John Frankenheimer's Seconds immediately springs to mind. At times, it was the far more ridiculous face slash off due equally to the whole central switcheroo concept, as well as that annoying, awkward slash in the title. Technical credits are solid. Sing and cinematographer Brendan Galvin make good use of the attractive locations. The editing by Robert Duffy helps to paper over the holes in the script and keep the movie hurtling forward. The only truly egregious touch comes at the very end. Seconds took the story to a dark but perfectly logical conclusion. Self slash less seems to be heading toward an equally melancholy or at least bittersweet conclusion, but then lurches unconvincingly toward a blissful reunion on a Caribbean island. Sadly, the uncompromising filmmaking of the 1960s is unimaginable for today's craven storytellers and studio executives. Any science fiction film asks for a suspension of disbelief to buy into the story, but good science fiction makes the fantastic seem probable or plausible. Self slash less does not. There are several instances that give the audience pause, including Albright telling Damien that the new bodies, complete with the stubble on Edward's face, are created in labs, and the brilliant Damien believes him. But really, the most dubious moment isn't even science fiction. It includes a flamethrower that just happens to be in the medical room in which Edward's trapped. Talk about right place, right time. Overall, it was interesting concept. Highly doubtful technology would take us to a place to transfer consciousness to a new body. But like the movie, if it was available, the business would prey on the truly desperate to immortalize the 1% of the wealthy. We hope you enjoyed our today's video. If you did like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest and interesting videos.